what is up you guys welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i'm going to be setting up a few custom audiences these are super super simple basic and the most important you guys so if you're out there building a brand on social media trying to build an audience on over here online it's all about the link that you're putting out you guys i see many many business owners many many realtors specifically that go out there and they build a brand they build a business on social media and they share the link that they receive from their broker, right? You're with Keller Williams, david.kw.com. And that website is, is my website and it has everything about my business and, and everything about me and everything about Keller Williams, for example, right? These fancy replicated cookie cutter websites that majority of real estate agents get, maybe if you're in the insurance business, you get, you get these replicated uh, websites that everyone has. The only difference is the link. It has your name, but it's still your broker's link. These types of websites, you guys, are so, so, so important. And, and just over the past few years, consulting realtors, consulting small business owners, no one has the right link. Like you need your own .com. That's like your own, that's like your fingerprint on social media, on the internet today. You want to be tracking everything, especially on the Facebook site, like just with Facebook alone, like keeping it that simple. That's what I'm going to do in today's video. It just show you the back end tracking of, of the Facebook ad platform. So if you're out there putting stuff out on Facebook, if you're out there posting on Instagram, Create these custom audiences, the link that you're sharing in your bio, um, that link that you got, maybe it's a link tree. Stop sending people to link tree. You want to start, get your own .com and start driving traffic and collecting the data of the audiences that are landing on these different links. Um, and 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 to to be real real honest, it doesn't take any it doesn't take many links and it doesn't take many 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 pages to just have some basic tracking going. So I'm going to show you guys a simple funnel that I have. Um, let me let me share my screen. Let's get into it. This is a simple funnel that I have that I'm going to be driving traffic to. So I was already in the in the trenches and and about to do what I'm about to do, which is create Facebook custom audiences. So I just decided I'll, I'll record it for you guys as well. So let's get started. So oh, I have this funnel, you guys, that consists of one. This is page one, right? This is my 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 typical landing page, just the overall, your overall typical landing page. This is literally all it takes, you guys. Start clicking on ads. Start going to to to, to whether it's YouTube videos that you're catching in between, right? Ads on, on videos that you're watching on YouTube. Click on some of those, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's TikTok, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Twitter, click on some ads. Most that know what they're doing, Send you or are, are sending traffic to a basic landing page. This is my simple landing page, right? Nothing fancy to it. Some some client reviews, my button where I'm getting people to register for a webinar, right? A web class. Um, that's that whole call to action there. So so as I run traffic, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, I'm driving people to this link. Okay, it's all about the link, you guys. It's all about the link. So so that's the landing page. As they opt in. They click the button, name, email. They land on the next page. This link right here is another custom audience. Those who go through the actual funnel, which are these next few pages, these are all different touch points within my funnel, right? And it's that basic, you guys. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pages. Eleven pages, which consists of the entire funnel. Now, some people will go through all eleven pages because it's it's a sequence. Right, it's not like all eleven pages are thrown at somebody. As they as they go to my my first page, my landing page, and they opt in. Right, once they come here, they opt in. They land on this second page. And it's not until a day later when I send them the next page. A day later, I send them the next page. A day later, they're going to step two. A day later, they're going to step three. Right. So it's a sequence. It's an email sequence that that I have these pages being being clicked on. But as someone comes from my ad, as they come from my my Facebook ad, my Instagram ad, they're landing on this first page and they're opting in. That's the whole bottom line. And then the whole call to action here is to get them to click and schedule a call. Once they schedule a call, they land on this page which in this video, I'm telling them to tell me more about their business. And so this is simply a flow, right? So now they're going to go through, go through, it's really 10 questions, 11 questions, but it's actually 10 that um, take them through a series of questions, really filtering this person out, right? Really only Perry, uh, Perry, only cherry picking and, and really finding those, finding those people that actually fit the criteria that, that, that make my dream client, right? That, 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 that is someone that I can, based on their answers, I could freaking help and take them to the moon, right? So, so this is the flow 
of, of it. And so what you want to be doing, what you have to be doing is tracking all the links. That's why it's so, so important is, is to put the pixel on the page, right? So there's a pixel on, on every page. But today, in today's video, I'm going to be simply taking my links, all the links in my funnel to create what Facebook calls custom audiences. This is what it's all about, you guys. That's why when you're watching videos or when you're watching, when you're just surfing the internet, and you come across a video on Facebook and all the platforms all this are the same. But in this in this case, I'm going to show you how to, how to create Facebook custom audiences. When you're in the news feed on Facebook or Instagram and you see a one minute video and you sit there and you watch it. In fact, let's just freaking do it right now. You sit there and you watch the damn thing, right? Whether it's 15 seconds, 20 seconds, five seconds, whatever. As I'm in the news feed and I'm just scrolling through, scrolling through, seeing what my friends are up to, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored post. This is a one minute and 24 second Facebook video ad, right? As I sit here for nine seconds, 10, 11, 12, 13 seconds, I'm being tracked. This person has me in their 15 second, in their 16 second Facebook custom audience. And that's why tomorrow, a minute later, a day later, she'll retarget this audience, those who watched it for 15 seconds, and show them another ad. That's retargeting, you guys. That's custom audiences. So it happens with video. It happens with video. It also with the, with the length, the time amount, the time that you're actually watching it, right? The timestamp. It, it 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 happens there. It also happens when you engage with the post. So if I like it, if I comment, if I share. That's a form of engagement. That's a custom audience that she could have me in. And then boom, she could turn around and show that audience her next ad. Super, super basic and super powerful, you guys. That's the video side of it all. That's a custom audience. And then and then really you have, we're, we're, I'm going to show you the, the different sources, the different ways you can actually create one. But, but today I'm going to create one around the website because that's what everyone has. We all have a landing page. We all have a website. Again, all of you guys are sharing links on social media. You got to be able to do this. So if you're sharing these links that are not even yours, yes, david.kw.com. Yes, it's mine, but it's not mine. That's not my link. That's KW's link, right? I got to be sharing my link so I can start really tracking all this stuff, you guys, because I'm telling you, if you're going to invest the time and just post, 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 you better be capturing the data the data behind it all. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, be from an ad. The reason why it, you want it to be from an ad is because as you run that post as an ad, and as you get thousands and thousands of people to either watch your 15 seconds of your video, or you get thousands and thousands of people to click and land on your landing page, that data is, is again, what, what Facebook calls a custom audience, and you can retarget them in the future with more ads. Or you can exclude them, which I'm going to show you how I'm going to set it all up. So today, I'm going to, I'm going to create custom audiences and th that we're going to retarget in the future. Again, the video is one form of retargeting, but today we're gonna we're gonna focus on the website and and and, and there, there's sites here that we're gonna also use to create custom audiences so we can exclude from seeing future ads, right? You wanna include audiences when you're retargeting, and then you wanna exclude certain art audiences when you're retargeting, which are simply again, aka websites. It's all about customizing custom audiences around your website links. Okay. That's what this video is all about. So, so subscribe, stay in touch. You guys comment below, give me a like, just freaking like the damn thing. If you get any value out of this whatsoever, cause I'm gonna really bring it on and, and show you how simple this is. Okay. So, so it all starts here. It all starts with my landing page. I got to get, I got to get this link and all I want is the domain. I don't need the www. I don't need the um the the https. All I need is the full domain. This is the full domain. This is my landing page. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to come over here. Right here I'm in business.facebook.com forward slash ads manager forward slash audiences or just come straight to your your ads manager account. Come to the three the three lines on the left and click on audiences. That's all you're going to do, right? Click on audiences and you'll be right here. Okay? So when you click the blue button, Custom audiences. We won't go over lookalike audiences today. We're going to just simply keep it simple with custom audiences. You need a custom audience before you create a lookalike audience anyways. So so catch my future videos or even past videos. I'll link some in the description on lookalike audiences, on how to set up lookalike audiences. But but the custom audience must come first. Okay, so, so again, here are different sources where you can create audiences around. We're going to focus strictly on the website because no matter what, you guys got to be driving. You got to be driving traffic to some type of website, whether it's a landing page or a full-blown website, whatever. And again, what I'm saying is you must own that domain this domain right here so as i go website <clears throat> as i go website <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to click on the events i'm going to bring it down to specific i want specific and, and these are going to be people that landed in the past 30 days and so that link right there that link is my link right that's not david.coldwellbanker.com 
realty doc no, it's like none of that right it's my domain that's what's so so important you guys so 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 what you don't want to do if you're in the real estate space stop sharing the mls link because that link first of all it's not capturing a lead for you and then second of all you're sharing a link that's not even yours so so you're giving a link to your audience where you should be tracking your audience of those who are actually clicking on it to retarget and build a brand in the future but you're not because that's not your link right so so you got to you got to go out there go to godaddy.com get your own link and then and then again just just link it to some type of website or, or landing page software. I've been using Kartra forever. So there's a 14 day trial to the landing page software that I use. I use that for email automation. I use it for my online calendar and I use it for my sales funnels and landing pages. Um, and so, th so through Kartra, I'll connect, or I did, I, I connected that domain now I'm going to create pages around that domain and, and start to really track all this. This is custom audience number one. This is this is what we're going to start tracking. We're going to start tracking those who land on that page in the past 30 days, right? If they, in fact, you know what? I'm going to go up. Actually, I'm going to go up a little higher. I'm going to go 45, 45 days. The max you can go is 180. The max you can go is 180, but 45 days is enough. So there's the link. There's the link. And these are going to be people. These are going to be people who, who have... Actually, you know what? That's going in the retargeting. We're going to go in, in the retargeting pixel. Okay, so that, that's that. That's that. So all website visitors, we're going to hit this, go back to the specific 45, and we're going to paste back in that link because it did disappear. So there it is there. Now, this is a group of people, an audience who have landed on the landing page. They never landed on the second one. They never landed on the second one. They never opted in. And we got to be very, very specific. We only want the domain. We only want the domain. So these are people who have landed on the landing page, right? Exclude. And it's going to go down to the retargeting one. We're going to follow the top specific. We're going to go 45 days. We're going to paste in the link to the case study. They never landed on the next page they never opted in and for sure they never scheduled a call so i'm going to go in and get my scheduled call um this is my this is my call confirmed so they never landed here either they never landed there so i'm going to grab that and i'm going to put it in the exclude so there goes that and then they for sure never landed on this one either this is the the questionnaire, the call confirmed. Now I'm sending them to my to my YouTube channel. So they never landed. This is very specific, you guys. This is a super specific audience. People who have only landed on my landing page. They never landed on these three most important pages, which is my call, my 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 in progress. That's my web class. That's my whole 60 minute freaking presentation. They never landed on that page, right? In progress. And they for sure never scheduled a call and they never filled out the survey, right? The form that I that I have put in place. Okay. So this this audience name is going to be, it's going to be um the five step blueprint um page visitors. And I'm gonna put only, only, only. They have never opted in. They have never opted in. Now that's one super, super important audience that from this point on, I'm going to retarget, right? So, so if, if you're clicking and you're landing on that page, you're now in that audience and I'm going to, I'm going to use that audience in the future. As I click the three lines, I go to ads manager. I click the green button to create my next ad. This audience is what you would include in the ad set level in step two. Right, you'll see you'll see the box. Click on it, and then you'll see a drop down of all your audiences, and boom, it's right there above the the detail targeting, be, be above the map, uh, before you even choose your targeting. You can you can put these audiences. You can include them and exclude them, and I'm gonna show you today again which ones you want to exclude. So so that's the page visitors. That's the page visitors. Another super super important audience are the ones who actually opted in. Those are the ones who actually registered for the web class. I'm going to click the blue button again, custom audience. We're going to go website. We're going to go next. Um, the website, we're going to come down to specific. And these are going to be people who just opted in. So we're going to go with this. We're going to go 10 days. People that have watched, registered, not necessarily mean that they watched it, right? But they registered for it. They registered for it. They registered for it in the past 10 days. Okay. So that means that they landed on that link in the past 10 days, right? And, and exclude, exclude. They never, we're going to go specific on this one too. And I'm going to go 180. I'm going to go 180. I'm going to max out the bottom, right? So on the top, it's only people who have registered 
in the past 10 days because this group of people, you guys, are going to get a specific message. They're going to get the next ad for these folks are going to be very different than the ad I put out to get people to just register in the first place, right? This is a different audience. You got to be able to segment that, segment these these audiences. And that's what keeps your your, your content relevant, your ads relevant to, to the most relevant people, right? You got to do this or else you'll be burning money. No one does this. That's why you guys, if you need help with this, reach out, comment below, shoot me a freaking message on, on Instagram, um, instagram.com freaking forward slash Cantero Media, right? Follow me on, message me there if you want to connect. But, but let me help you, let me walk you through this. That's what I've been doing for the past few years is helping real estate agents, Create simple pages around simple audiences around their listings, open houses, buyer guides, seller guides, or helping a local business owner um, um, create audiences around all their stuff. So this is stuff you want to get done, you guys, or else it doesn't make any sense at all to continue to share content on social media. It doesn't. If you're not capturing the data on the back end, what what's the point, right? So so this is this is where we're at. That's the, the, ten days. They they've registered. They're they're watch. They watch that web class or not, but they registered in the past ten days. And then I'm gonna exclude. I'm gonna exclude anyone who has actually landed over here. So I'm gonna exclude anyone who has actually scheduled, right? So they scheduled. So I'm gonna. This is this is scheduled, and then that's that's survey. But let's do let's do the scheduled one. They never landed on that page, and for sure they never landed on this one either. Okay, so we're going to get these two. We're going to paste that in there. That's that. Okay, 180. Okay, so this is going to be named. This is We're going to name this audience. Um, okay, audience name. People who registered. Who registered. People who registered haven't scheduled all. Oh. 10 days and, and, and we're going to go have people. Okay. Let's do this. People who have, who people who have, they have. Okay. People who have registered people who have registered, but let's go, but actually, damn, I can't fit, but haven't scheduled haven't scheduled call. We'll just leave it at that. Haven't scheduled call 10 days. 10 day. Okay. Um people registered. People who registered haven't scheduled call. Haven't scheduled. And I'm just gonna go take that out. Okay. Okay. So look at that. Look at that. So again, this would be an audience that we would retarget with a specific message. Right. These are people who actually registered, but they haven't scheduled a call, which is the whole objective. Right. So so that 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 group of people, they get a very specific message as well. Right. They get a they get a very specific message as well. And and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in here and edit this. Let me edit this because there's a few pages that I should have included. Um, so they landed in in the past 10 days. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave that 10 days. We're going to leave that 10 days. Mm. Well, what I'm also going to do is I'm not, is not, not only am I going to include just the in progress, but I'm actually, which is, which is, which is this one. Actually it's that's replay in progress. So, so that's in progress. Yeah. It's this one right here, but we're also going to include all the other ones. We're also going to include the rest of these. So it's anyone that has landed on any of these pages in the past. There's that one. There's replay in progress. And then there's this one, step one. So so I, I teach five steps, you guys, five basic steps to, to implement on social media to capture more leads and, and build your personal brand fast, right? That's That's what I teach. And so these are simple pages that follow. Let me grab this that follow after a person opts in after a person opts in. I'm going to continue to build that relationship. I'm going to continue to 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 educate them. I'm going to continue to to just pour into them. And, and again, the whole objective is to get them to schedule a call. But as I run ads, as I run ads, I want to make sure that we're targeting the most relevant people. And this is how you do it. You guys, you just simply 
take your links, the links that you must register, you must own, right? So go to GoDaddy if you need to, Namecheap or whatever, and go get your own .com. This is where we're at. This is our fingerprint nowadays. You got to be able to, to track these links and, and promote these links that are yours, right? Stop stop promoting, you know, broker links. Like go get your own and, and let's let's really step this game up. So so that's all I'm doing here, you guys, is, is including all of that. Anyone who's been on any of these pages, that's what this is. Anyone who's been on any of these pages, these are people that have opted in. So you only can land on these pages if you've opted in, right? So if you've opted in and we're going to take the 10, we're going to take that up just to 15 in the past, yeah, 15 days. Perfect. So if you re if you land it on any of these pages, step five, and then we got the FAQs. I got an FAQ page that I'm working on. So so there there is that. So if you've landed on any of these pages, you guys, in the past 15 days, and you have not landed on these two, meaning you, meaning you have not filled out my form and you did not schedule a call, right? And, and I'm going to max that at 180. Perfect, right there. So that right there, you guys, becomes an audience that I will retarget for, from this point on. So the moment they, they moment they opt in, right, the moment they opt in, for the next 10 days, they're going to get certain retargeting ads on Facebook and on Instagram, getting them to schedule a call. Hey, John, you just registered and opted in for, or actually I wouldn't say John, right? Because it'd be a general video ad, but but I, I'd be speaking to that audience. Hey guys, this is David. I noticed you registered for my web class, but for whatever reason, you haven't scheduled a call. Let me tell you what we're going to cover on this call and why you're going to want to do it right now, right? That's a very specific video ad going to a very specific group of people, you guys, my audience, my audience. My audience, that's what it's all about, you guys. So today, all I really focus on is website and video. As you really scale and build an email list and you start to get thousands of people on, an, on a certain email list, customer list is what you can start creating audiences around as well. But depending on your business, these other audiences, these other sources are not really necessary. Facebook page, Instagram account, lead form for sure. If you're running lead form ads, if you're running lead form ads, you for sure want to create custom audiences around, around lead form. But, but if you're not, and you're just driving traffic to a landing page, website is all you need. Website and video, you guys, and you guys can crush it by, by simply gathering the data from all this content you're putting out and retargeting them with the most relevant um, ads and, 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 and pages. All right, guys. So, so that, that's it right there. I wanted to show you my, my page visitors only. And then, and then people who have registered, you know what, one, one other thing we're going to do real quick is, is the main objective website, website. So this is going to be specific and this is going to be 180. We're going to max it out. This is going to be an audience of those who actually scheduled. Okay. So those that actually scheduled, we're going to put them in this audience. This is people um, watch before a call. Tell me more about your biz. So this is going to be, we're going to paste in that link right there. Um, and then should I people? Yeah, I'll just name it that. Um, people who have scheduled, scheduled. but no survey, no form, but no form. Okay. So, so, so here's the deal. That specific 180, they, they landed on that page. They land on that page, which, which is a call confirmed people who have scheduled a call, but, but exclude people, exclude people specific. And we're going to go 180 on this one too, but they never filled out the form, which is this link over here. They never filled out the form. Okay, so there is that and there's that. So now you guys, now I have this other audience. These are people who have scheduled a call, which what it's all about, you guys. So if they fill out the survey, some will, some won't. But but the, the fact that they scheduled a call, they landed on that specific link. Now what I can do is as I run future ads from this point on Instagram and, 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 and Facebook, as I run ads, I can now exclude that audience from seeing them. And that's so important, you guys, because if you're showing me ads and I've already clicked on your stuff, I registered, I watched your web class, I even scheduled a call with you. But for, for but 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 because of this, because you didn't care to take the time to learn this crap and set these audiences up, I continue to see your ads to register for your web class. When I'm already way down your funnel, I'm already way down to the other side, getting ready to talk to you tomorrow at 9 a.m., but I keep seeing your ads. 
not only does it get annoying, it gets irritating, but also on your end, you're spending way more than you need to. Like you're you're running ads to and you're targeting people that have already opted in for your stuff. Like your 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 targeting is is just a little off. So that's why these audiences are so important. It, include them in in targeting and exclude them in targeting. And that's your Facebook custom audiences, you guys. So stay in tune, stay tuned, and stay in touch. Subscribe if you're not already, you guys, and give your boy a, a like. If you got any value, drop me a comment below. Give me a like, and I'll see you on the next video. Over and out.